Good morning. Today is Monday, June 24th, I think, 2019. And I wanted to come on and do a quick video about the shadow self because I am experiencing it extremely heavy myself um, and have been for the past week or so. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what that even is because a lot of times we go through a series of challenges that we bring upon ourselves internally, whether you're conscious or unconscious of it or not, because it all is a part of our soul contracts to learn certain lessons. So certain cycles are just going to keep revisiting themselves over and over again until you learn the lesson that you need to know. And you can see right now, okay, so my makeup from last night is a little bit there. I just woke up about an hour ago, but feeling like I'm finally mentally waking up. It's probably 11.30 in the morning, Monday. I woke up feeling very tired because I went out last night with Sierra, one of my best friends, and we knew that if we go out, we're going to end up being out. Like We were like, oh, let's just get one drink and then you know that you're just probably gonna be out later. So why do you do it, right? Why do we constantly know that something is not right for us or not the best decision for us, but we still do it anyways? And that's because we're human and we are living our lives and we're doing things that are fun and we're experiencing experiences and it all plays into the greater purpose as well. So every time, you second guess your intuition and you do something against that. Depending on whether the gut feeling is good or bad, I mean, honestly, something bad could happen if you go against your intuition and then you're like, damn, I knew I shouldn't have done that. But sometimes you just need to experience that um, little bit of life so that way you can see what you don't want and, and then you're able to move forward and move past that. So the past few days, has been a few days that I have um, gone out and spent time with friends and had some drinks and I you know always talk about like that I don't really like drinking because it lowers your vibration your energetic vibration so now I have to do a lot of extra work to bring that back up by eating the right food spending time outside doing meditation all of these things that we can do to raise our vibration and um, you know, it's fine because it's worth it because now I feel like I'm just really ready to straighten everything up. And so going out and partying is not necessarily a shadow self, but doing things that are on your, what would be considered your darker side um, would be the shadow. So for me, my unorganization, like when I'm unorganized, that's a part of my shadow self um, because it takes a lot for me to be organized because I'm very creative. I've got a lot of things going on all the time. I'm on the go all the time. And um, so being unorganized and, it, and when it like physically manifests in my life, like when my house becomes a little bit messy, or I'm just not on my game with doing things like that. Um, organizing not only my house, but I also have this traffic ticket scenario that I'm dealing with. I have two traffic tickets that I <laughs> am dealing with that I didn't even realize. Um, I have community service that I need to do for that because I didn't want to pay the $300 traffic ticket. And so they increased my hours from... 28 to 35 and included the traffic school now so it's just more time that I have to devote to this otherwise I could pay the $300 and let it be that but right now I don't have an extra $300 and by rule of um, manifestation and law of attraction and, and all of these things it's not that I don't have the money but I don't want to spend $300 on fucking bullshit traffic ticket that I shouldn't have even had in the first place. So that's one thing. The partying, going out, spending time with friends is another thing. And I'm not talking about partying like getting wild and doing anything crazy. I'm talking about getting some drinks with some good friends 
and dancing. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I could have been doing something else more productive and I feel guilty about it while I'm doing it. And then it's like, why do I even do that in the first place? Because sometimes when you go, it's not even worth it. The past, the other two days were really fun and worth it, but it's like the third time was like, okay, I did it, I came, I saw, I left, now I gotta get back on track, right? So it's a part of recognizing these darker sides and doing like some thought process on how you can get back on track. So we have the unorganization. Let's see, my diet has been a little bit off. I have been still eating whole and good foods, but then there's been little pieces of eating not as good foods in there. I've been doing a lot of, um, craving a lot of sugar, craving a lot of sugar. Um, ice cream, cookies, desserts, all the things that I love, but I have cut out of my diet for a long time because it's not good for you. The sugar is not good for your brain, it's not good for your body, and it creates an addiction. And it actually stems into a, a addictive patterns that you can get with con consumption of food and drink. So coffee, wine, dessert, bad food, like, you know, junk food, whatever. I don't eat like fast food or anything like that, but it's still like not the best that I could be doing. So basically we have to clean everything up and let's see what else is the shadow side for me. Um, just being distracted, just allowing myself to get distracted and getting off track a little bit. But sometimes you have to like get off track and go off the little beaten path to learn like, you know, maybe I should have just stayed on that path in the first place because this is taking me a little bit longer to get down. I stumbled over a couple of rocks. I kind of tripped and fell down the way. Now I have a scrape on my leg. Um, but I'm going to still get back on the path and get to my destination. So... Um, I was thinking about recording and showing how messy my house is for this, but I guess it's not really necessary. It's really more important <laughs> to talk about it. So that's the message for today. Embrace the shadow self. See where you can learn from it and just keep pushing forward. Know that it's okay. Know that the struggles are going to come. Maybe it's coming in your relationships. Maybe you're going through breakups. Maybe you're going through arguments in your relationships. Maybe you're cutting off some relationships and maybe right now you need to cut off some of those relationships. You know, separate yourself, become a hermit for a little bit and um, get back on your game. And that's okay. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on doing this week. Um, Post-summer solstice, we're moving from shadow back into the light. We got to bring that light in and bring it to life. So going to be dealing with all of the responsibilities this week and I hope that again these messages are helpful for you I I really hope that um, you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people that I talk to are going through a lot of the same things so that's why it's important to talk about the fact that you're not alone in these situations and to know that it is going to get better you just got to keep your faith Keep your positive mindset. Every time you get a negative thought about maybe something you're doing, you're thinking, just change it. Just say, you know what? I don't want that thought and put it out. What would I rather be thinking? What would I rather be feeling? Where do I want to be? And so that is how you will get there. You got to think about it first. Have a great week. And um, I'm telling myself, get your shit together. <laughs>